Hello guys, in this simulation tutorial, I will explain you that how you can interface a PIR sensor or motion detector sensor with the Arduino within the Tinkercad platform. So, first of all, we need to click on this pen that is the component pen. So, here we will click on this option that is the basic. And here we will find our Arduino Uno. So now this is our Arduino Uno. And after Arduino Uno, we need to find our PIR sensor. So here it is. Okay. Now we can see that there are three pins of this PIR sensor. The first one is the ground pin, the second one is power. And the third one is the signal pin. So power pin needs to be connected with the 5 volt pin of the Arduino. And here it is. So, okay. Now we will make it like it. Okay. Now, now the other pin is the ground pin of the PIR sensor. So click on this pin and also drag it to the ground pin of the Arduino. So here we will make it like this so that it is properly connected. Now the signal pin must be connected with the A0 pin of the Arduino. Okay. Now the signal is going to the analog pin A0 of the Arduino. Now we will go to the code. And we will write like uh, text. Okay, and here it is. So now in uh, above the wire setup, uh, we will declare two variables like uh, int a is equal to zero and int b is equal to zero. So we have defined the two variables and both are of integer data type in white setup we also need to write serial dot begin because we also need to launch the serial communication because we want to see the data on the serial monitor so it is serial dot begin 9600 baud right Pin mode 13 comma output. Okay, we will set it like that. Okay, now now uh, we need to write a is equal to analog read of a zero. So what this command will do? It will read the data, all the analog data on the pin number a zero, and store all the values inside this variable a then we need to write b is equal to map of a comma 0 comma 10 23 comma 0 comma 255 and what it will do that it this command that is map command will map our data on x axis it will make uh, it will quantize our data uh, like uh, uh, in one second it will read the data for 10 24 times and as well as magnitude is concerned it will read the data up to 5 volt and assign them or divide them into 256 levels like a 5 volt represents 255 and 0 volt represents 0 volt and i think uh, it's uh, 2.5 is like 160 or like that 162 or something like that so now we will apply our if command that if b is greater than like uh, 100 so okay let's delete all these lines the, the below one okay so here we will write serial dot print ln motion detected so delay of 100 
okay so whenever we, we we will receive a value of 100 in the variable b then our if condition will check that either 100 is inside the b or not so if if the values are if the values greater than this 100 then uh, the commands in these braces will be executed so now we will run it okay so okay we also need to open the serial monitor One more thing we also need to write one more thing and that is the here that is serial dot print ln b yeah, this will print the value of b yeah here it is printing zero so whenever we will click the okay we need to okay first we will stop it okay we will drag our circuits some bit here so that we can see the results so here you can see that the motion is detected when you will click on this this circle it, 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 it will give us that the motion is detected and if not then there is the zero displaying on the serial monitor so hopefully you got the concept regarding the PIR motion sensor interfacing with the Arduino so thanks for watching